Here is how you identify and omit bad reflections from the refinement in Olix 2. So this structure is finished and we always click on this percent symbol here to see the fops fcalc plot and we can just about see two of those reflections are maybe not too good 0, 0, 001 we can click on this and this will take it out of the refinement with an omit and we can click on that and we'll take that out now over at info we can look at the uh, bad reflections and indeed those 0, 0, 001 and 146 were the Two reflections that uh, were flagged up by, uh, by by the graph and also in the Shalex um, output file, the listing file. So what we've done, we omitted them entirely and that's not always what you need to do. We can clear those omits again and we can click on edit instead and that shows us all the occurrences of this, the equivalence of this one. Here there are only two, so we really don't know which value it is. So I guess if it really doesn't fit and we wish to omit it, the only way to do this is click omit. For this one here, we can see there are four equivalents and uh, one of them, the uh, 30 here, they, that looks a bit bigger than the other ones, so 22, 23, 19, 30, 20. So this is probably the one we want to omit and we can turn this plus into a minus and that doesn't omit all of this whole reflection, only those this one occurrence. So um, we, I'll show you what it does. We go edit hkl and if we um, go right to the bottom here we see there is the 0, 0, 0 line and past the 0, 0 line it put the one uh, reflection that didn't fit the 30 and anything past the 0, 0, 0 line is ignored by the um, refinement package and therefore it won't be taken into account. So if we refine this now we uh, we've have a slightly uh, lower R factor. We haven't omitted the whole reflection but we um, we have uh, kept, kept the reflection in but omitted the one offending part. But the odd thing is here, if we now actually look at the bad reflections, it's actually back and it's worse than before. I'm not entirely sure what that means. So we click on this again and one thing we can do is we can, uh, what I need to do, I need to delete those pluses here for the moment and I'll show you in a second why. If I copy this text here, control copy and then head over to a spreadsheet, I can paste that, Control v and I can uh, split text into columns. What I want to do is just to plot this and have a visual idea of what that looks like if I click on the plot here. So really it is that reflection that's, that, that seems to be sticking out, so those three hold together. So I guess it's an interesting case. Um, I don't quite know why it's behaving the way it is, but the point is you can play with that and you can exclude and include a particular kind of uh, particular occurrence of a reflection and there is not always a need to uh, exclude the entire reflection. So in this case I really don't know what's best. I'd probably omit the whole thing and be done with it. Control R and refine. Anyway, so this is just uh, showing you how you can identify and how you can omit reflections from the refinement in Olex 2. Thanks for using Olex 2.